right, so um, these notes, I'm hoping to go through these faster than we did the previous ones because so much of these notes are similar to the ones that we just did on solving linear equations, okay? So these are solving linear inequalities, and a linear inequality is exactly like a linear equation, but instead of the equal sign, there's an inequality symbol. So just as a reminder, those inequality symbols, we have less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. Okay, so less than, greater than, less than or equal to, it has that extra little equal sign underneath, um, and then greater than or equal to. Okay, so how do we solve a linear inequality? We solve them the exact same way as we would solve an equation. Okay, there's only one thing that's different, and it's at the very end. So step one, we still, we still simplify. And so the second part, we still distribute. If you see fractions, um, multiply. I write too big. Both sides by the least common denominator. Um, and then combine like terms on each side separately. Sep separately. I can spell today. Okay. Um, step two, we move. So we're going to move the variable terms to one side and the constant terms to the other. This is where we use our um, plus and minus to move terms to the opposite side by using the opposite sign. And then step three is still going to be isolate. Okay, so we want to get the variable by itself with a coefficient of one. And this is where we use the division symbol to undo multiplication to change the number in front of the variable to 1. Okay, so for inequalities, we do have something a little bit different. Um, and we call that the flip rule. Okay, so if you multiply or divide, both sides by a negative, you must flip okay, the inequality symbol. Okay, so when I say flip, I mean we're going from less than to greater than. That's it. It just flips direction. The alligator eats the opposite direction, okay? So why do we flip it? So let's say we have negative 2 is less than 1, okay? And that is a true statement. If we multiply both of these sides by a positive 3, we end up with negative 6 and positive 3, okay? Or negative 6 is less than positive 3, which is still a true statement. However, if we multiply by negative 3, we end up with 6 is less than negative 3, which is a false statement. So then we flip the symbol to make it true. Okay, so that's an example of why we would use the false, or why we would flip it, sorry. Um, if we wanted to check our solution set, we plug a possible solution into the original inequality, simplify, and check. When we graph our solution sets, okay, um, we have an open circle, and those are for less than and greater than, and then we have a solid circle for less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. Okay, and when we graph them, we're going to shade all the possible answers. So whichever way it's pointing, that's the way we're going to shade. Okay, um, 
So an example, create a graph to represent the inequalities below. Ooh, sorry, that's my alarm to leave school. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, so this is saying that x is greater than 3. So if I have a number line here, so here's 2, 3, 4. Um, if x is greater than 3, I know it's an open circle. And everything that's greater than 3 is on this side. Done. Okay. X is less than or equal to, so I know that it's closed. Um, then 16 over 3. Well, it's hard to graph a fraction on a number line, so 16 over 3 is the same thing as 5.3 repeated. So if here's 5 and here's 6, 5.3 is the same thing as like 5 and a third. Okay, so 5 and a third, if I split this into 3s, would be like this, 3 sections. Okay, so 5 and a third is right about here. It's a closed circle because it has that extra line underneath. It's less than, so it's everything on this side. Okay. Flip it over. Let's look at some more. Um, solve the following and graph their solution sets. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, get rid of the parentheses by distributing. Okay, so we're going to distribute the 3 all the way through. So we get 3 x minus 6 is less than negative 9. Um, and we're going to solve these the exact same way we would if there was an equal sign. So we're going to add 6. So 3x is less than, what is that, negative 3? We divide by both sides by 3, we get x is less than negative 1. So if this is negative 1. It's less than, so open circle, less than is everything on this side. Okay. Um, let me distribute. So we get negative 4x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 26. Grab my calculator because I can't math today. We'll subtract 6 from both sides. Negative 4x is greater than or equal to 20. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4, or negative 4, but because I divide both sides by 4, I need to flip. Okay. So if, I, if my original symbol is greater than or equal to, when I flip it, my new symbol is going to be less than or equal to. Um, but this becomes x is negative 5. So negative 5, less than. It's a closed circle because it has that extra little line at the bottom. Let me go that way. Okay. Um, number five, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract three from both sides. So I get negative x over four is greater than negative one. Okay. Um, so one of the ways that I teach this in Algebra 1, um, whenever we see a fraction, that means division. That's automatically division. So we're t I'm asking you right now to take x, negative x, and divide it by 4. Um, so the opposite of division is multiplication. So we're actually going to multiply by the opposite. So if I divide by negative 4, I'm going to multiply by negative 4. So if I multiply one side by negative 4, I have to multiply the other side by negative 4. But because I'm multiplying by a negative, 
we flip our symbol. So if this is greater than, it becomes less than. X and four. So if here's four, we have an open circle, everything on this side. Okay. Um, oh yeah, they gave me more room to do things. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and move some stuff. Let's play. Okay, um, doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna add 4.9x to both sides. Okay, so that way these cancel out and I'm left with greater than or equal to 2.07, so 2.5. 4.9 is 7.4, so we have 7.4x minus 3.48. Okay, so I'm going to add 3.48 to both sides, so that way these cancel. So 7.4 less than or equal to, what is that, um, 555. Oh, there's an X here. My bad. Okay, so we divide by 7.4. So X is less than or equal to, what's 5 point? Divided by 7.4, Or X is less than or equal to 3 fourths. So either one of those, oops. Well, you get the gist, it's three over four. Um, so if this is zero and this is one, this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, less than or equal to means we have a solid filled in circle and less than is everything on this side. Okay, and number seven, uh, let's go ahead and distribute. So we're going to have to distribute, combine like terms, and then move everything. So we have 2 minus 6x plus 4 is less than 4x minus 14. Um, so on the left-hand side over here, I'm going to combine like terms. We have 2 and a 4, so I have negative 6x plus 6 is less than 4x minus 14. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. So I have negative 10x plus 6 is less than negative 14. Subtract 6. Negative 10x is less than negative 20. Divide by negative 10. And because I'm dividing by a negative, I have to flip the sign. And because it's already less than, it becomes a greater than symbol. So x is greater than 2. So this is 2, that's an open circle, let me color everything to that side, okay? At the very bottom of your notes, um, there's actually, it says homework, section, whatever, ignore that and do the problems that are linked on Canvas.